Hello everybody, we have a very exciting match for you now between Drac Blackclaw and his lizard men versus Elyod and his wonderful Wood Elf team. Top of the league Elyod. Uh, 11 man, only 11 man Wood Elves, but some very nice players versus Drac who is unfortunately bottom of the league with a severely undeveloped, underdeveloped lizard man team. It's got a chance to be not very pretty. Um, I think the way, the thing that, the way that Drac can win this game <laughs> is to keep, pick up the ball with his sure hands, keep it out of range of everything, and then run forward, hand it off to the edge four, who then scores. And then just keep doing that and hope that, that you know, Elliot fills something on defense. Is it kind of a terrible plan? Yes. But is it probably the only way you don't lose? Yes. Um, you know, these two dancers can just torture his skinks. There's no way you can really protect the ball. Um, yeah, Silly Billy is the only inducement. Elio's team is down to 11 players. Um, quite low TV, but I mean, he's got he's got dancers. He's got tackle strip dancers, you know, and he's got a he's got near natty. And that's all he needs. That's all he needs. And he's got the Edge 5 as well. The Edge 5 uh, won him a game the, the other day. I mean, it's not over. It's not over, but it's really tough. It is really tough to play against this team. Like, just how do you defend the ball? So, so my way was... Oh, wow. I think he forgot about the ball there for a second. My my way to beat him, I mean, not that I did beat him, but my way to attempt to beat him was to, uh, was to, you know, not not protect the ball. Oh my god, just killed him instantly. Both of them, he didn't even have block. Wait, Elliot doesn't even apple it. Oh my god, Elliot is a monster. Elliot just didn't even apple it. Didn't even want a tree. Didn't even want a tree. No problem. <laughs> Not Elliot's favourite player, was it? No, just dodge through, innit? Just dodge through because he got dodge. Surf. There we go. Surfing a Saurus is better than killing a skink. Ruthless, didn't even apple it. Well, this is pretty good. He can get, he can get away with this guy. I'd be pretty happy with this if I was a, uh, if I was Drac here. Hand off on a three plus, blitz this guy, and you can get away. Uh, just a rookie, just a rookie tree. Oh yeah, you can blitz him to make it a two plus handoff and then just like put the crocs on him. You might bracket this guy with the crocs. This looks like he's not potatoing. Potatoing was the mega play here, like no choice but to potato. Like you cannot you cannot protect the ball from the dancers. <laughs> so give it to him and run was a pretty good strat. Well, I guess he would have failed the handoff. <laughs> I guess he would have failed the handoff, but instead he fails the GFI. And uh, no, no, he doesn't go grab first. He goes guard first. Oh, okay, it had, it had grab and it had grab and guard. Okay, it wasn't rookie. I don't know why I thought it was rookie. He had guard and grab. Yeah, he doesn't go. He doesn't go grab first, which made me think he didn't have grab. Yeah, double wanting the GFI so but I mean I think you know going in the cage wasn't even good, right? I think you hand it off to this guy and obviously you double one. What can you do? 
I think your hand after that guy and, and jet off was good. And just roll some dice. Gets the ball in a cage. Easy as you like. Oh! Roll the one though. Is he gonna die? No justice. <laughs> Crocs blitz. Oh no. So he should have made that 3D, right? One way or the other. Either. Oh he didn't even hit the he didn't even hit the dancer, hit this guy. So I think, you know, you three dice this guy with the crocs? Or you put in two assists and three dice the dancer with the crocs. Or you blitz with a block knight, you right? <laughs> we are watching all of the games, Dementor. <laughs> We're watching all of every game. This will, I'm sure, something great will happen. Like Elliot agonizing over who to get the SPP to. This guy will get a completion. Um, oh, yeah, just a very interesting failure. This guy will get a touchdown and a completion, maybe. And then just maybe touchdowns for this guy. Don't say it's over. I mean, yeah, it is short. <laughs> It is, it is literally already over. <laughs> it's instantly over. But you know, technically not. It's technically not over. You know, you can put people in. Yeah, you can roll twos. Hope for crazy dice. It's not actually over. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like if if Elliot just like rolls a quad skulls or a double one or you know, whatever. And then takes a bunch of cars. He's only got eleven players. Also Drax out of re-rolls, which isn't great, is it? So now Elio's definitely going to try and score this turn, or... Well, maybe just give the ball to the edge 5. And then uh, score this turn. I quite like scoring this turn and then, uh, you know, scoring the game before the end of the half. That's what I would attempt to do. Sure looks like it's what I need to do. Yeah, no no need to stall it out at all. Same same as uh, my game versus Chivido wasn't when I got the uh, when I got the blitz. Like scoring turn four versus like no re-rolls or bad ball handlers or whatever, it's pretty sick. You can get two nil up and then and it's game over, isn't it? It's it's not over yet, but it's close to being over. If Elliot goes two nil up, it's over. I mean, and it's so hard. It's so hard here for the lizards. Like it's just so hard. It's just so hard. Like how do you defend against this? You just you don't. Some teams can, right? Teams with sure hands, with strength three or four carrier. You know. A strength four sure hands. His brick can defend against them pretty well. But then a strength four sure hands probably gets one turn on as well. So it's pretty tough to have a team that can actually beat this team. Even though like the team is you know mostly three players. That's all you really need. One turn of dancers. And then a random match for them. It really has just got everything you need for the Wood team, which is four players. Oh, cars. 
journey on, so I'll have to that. Like obviously my my team is like way better, right? He's way better than that yards. But it can still lose to his four players very easily. Like very easily. And that's with a much better team. Can easily lose to, to four players. So a team that isn't even better <laughs> can definitely lose to those four players very easily. But yeah, the, I, as I say, that would have been my strategy. Ball back this guy in in scoring range and just try and just try and uh, make it a shootout versus him. I think it's the only real real thing you can hope for. Just just hope that. Hope that Elliot rolls shit, basically. Again, it looks like Elliot is going to leave, leave the potato. No, this time he hasn't. See, this time he's protected against the potato. But when he left the potato on, he should have definitely gone for it. I think. Was this time the potato is not left on? I guess could have blitzed the dancer and just see if you're powering. And then if you're powering, then go for the handoff. Right, you've got to go for the handoff run up anyway. So three plus handoff, but no rerolls. But again, a three plus handoff sounds terrible. But when your alternative is somebody leaping in and two dicing you, <laughs> you know. If you're losing the ball seven and a half times out of nine on your turn anyway, <laughs> maybe maybe the two plus the three plus is, is worth it. And it's a one anyway. <laughs> Block one, blitz the other, and then uh, pick up the pass. I wonder if the add five can reach to do the pass. Yeah, you can. So you, what you want to do here as Elliot is uh, get this guy down here, hit there with a wrestle, and then get this add five in to do a pass. See if that's double one, now you've got a chance of Oh, don't do that, do a pass. Do a pass, get your SPP, Elliot. Get your SPP, mate. Do a fucking pass. <laughs> I guess he can score on that guy, can't he? Yeah, I would, I would have passed it to the. Oh wow! <laughs> I would have, I would have passed it to this guy, and then he would have, maybe he would have been hit and lost it. But who cares? I would have just, I would have just tried to get my SPPs. <laughs> I would just try to get my SPPs. But I guess scoring on him is fine, isn't it? Like getting to thirty threes. Maybe he will try and pass it still. Well, maybe not. Maybe he might pass it to this guy. But then he would have done it this turn, surely. Surely if he was going to pass, he would have done it this turn when he had the safety net. The scoring next turn, 35. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it, if you fail it this time. But he'd have to fail it, and then he'd get an extra one in 36 as well. Elliot didn't even have all the tree. <laughs> oh man. And it was a 19 SPP. I thought it was a rookie tree. I genuinely just thought it was a rookie tree. Because you can't see it's. Oh, it's because they're up there. 
That's why. Because I, I couldn't see his fucking skills, right? I went up here and I could see this guy was a loner. I couldn't see his skills, but it's because they were up there. I wouldn't even look in that eye. 19 SPPs. And he didn't even apple him. What a monster. Oh, wow, wow. Look where this guy is. <laughs> uh oh. Mighty blow, man. I think I would re roll that. I think I would greed re roll that if I was over. I don't know if he would have done, but I think I would have. You know, three pushes, I think I'm re rolling that. I'm risking the triple skull. <laughs> Just out of pure vindictiveness, really, because <laughs> it's only 2 SPP, isn't it? And I guess the chance of stopping your own score isn't worth it. But, uh, I couldn't, I don't think I could resist. Right, Elliot gets it. So, the question now is, does he dacker for, like, six completions and a touchdown or does he score and try and score again like he doesn't even get you more SPP does it so a dacker is, is probably better than the score early here I guess this, uh, the early score makes it 3-0 and GG whereas the dacker means you know what if he rolls some dice and you roll some dice and then he makes it 2-1 and then you're not out of the woods so I guess I guess there is some merit to trying a quick score. But I'd want to greedily dacker like an idiot. <laughs> and it looks like Elliot might be greedily dackering. He might not even dacker that greedily, but I would I would greedily dacker this one. As many passes as possible. The two nil up. Wow, nails the sure hands. It's interesting, I would have blitzed the edge four rather than the yeah, sure hand. But I guess it's because he wants to strip him and score again. And he's uh it's right in the neck, neck of the woods, so yeah, he's going to screen up all this. Uh, it's free progression, isn't it? Take the 3 nil. Take the 3 nil and the win. And then he can just defensive back room. And that, uh, that satisfies the main goal of the backer anyway. <laughs> See a gang foul on this dancer? <laughs> Probably shouldn't, to be fair, but on the other hand, you might as well. That's the thing, isn't it? 2 0 down. Why not just try that? Not only does he not get the power, he has to use a reroll. Yes. I think I might have just put that guy like here or something. Just he's always going to score, but still, just put you know put the skink on a little bit just in case. But. Well, three nil is GG. Now, I'm sure if Elliot had been streaming this match, he would have said, it's over. 
Technically not over. Drak could score in two, three times, and draw. But realistically over. Oh, you're not defensive daggering. And get the ref. But I guess he's still got his apple, hasn't he? He hasn't been shy with these uh, with these wood elves, to be honest, Elliot. He has he has gone for many a uh, boobies. He's gone for many a, a leap in, many an adventurous leap in with his dances. Three plus dodges through tackle zones. He hasn't been shy with using his good players, which is why he's done so well over the three seasons. Got a better record than my team. Oh, going for the edge five. Boobies. Classic Elliot. Foul does not. And he's just gone for the fourth. Flip me. All I grow all the time, familiar, doesn't he? He's 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 very Inarian like. He's not he's not messing around. Can he tag? Mm. Come on, get the focus. Nah, this is ugly, isn't it? Big power, actually, isn't it? Let's these both guys, these guys get out like on a 2 plus and a 3 plus, respectively. Huge power. Nice little formation Elliot got there. Trap the skinks. It's amazing how much better the sound effects are in Blood Bowl 2 and 3. Oh, well there's this guard on the corner so it's only a one and he hasn't got strip. There you go, goes for the one in nine again. Yeah, <laughs> they play at the right time, fair enough. Never shy about about leaping in with these dancers. Oh my god, Le Double Skulls. Get that pow! Will he die? Will he die? Diced. Diced again. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I think T difference T D difference will be fine. It's head to head as the first tiebreaker as well, isn't it? And we drew, and um, I drew with Danton, and you drew with King Boo. And no, you only got one more draw. Was it King Boo you drew with? Yeah. So like a lot of the people that could be near the top have got drawn again, so I guess. Maybe maybe touchdown difference could come into it. 
But I think he'll be alright, Eliod. Eliod. Anything can happen though, can't it? Like, anything can happen. Like, it's so easy just to get banged out. Even for Dark Elves, never mind Wood Elves. It's so easy just to get banged out. And then, uh, you know, one in nine leaps like that. One in nine a leap, Dancer Kazd. Whole team, shit on. 2-1 grinded. It's it's well possible. Yeah, Tree got banged out turn one. Didn't even ample it, you savage. <laughs> Jesus. That is a... That is a wild one. Fuck it, it's a tree. Yeah, to be fair, if it rolled them here... Maybe you have to... <laughs> maybe you have to move three tree here. That's a big difference. I don't know why that would be anything you would consider the Elliot. <laughs> Surely that shouldn't factor into your decision pro process whatsoever. But yeah, the, he wasn't so good, was he, a tree? Oh. Should have uh, really put him in first, right, to... Uh, could have also made it like a 3D. Could have made it a 3D, but at least put him in there to stop the sidestep. I'm sure he was planning to score this turn. Surely. Oof, the one in nine. Now no reroll for the dodge, oh my god. Maybe he isn't gonna score. Gets a tuddy. No one's died yet. Hardly hurt. Yeah. So, you know, could have gone worse. <laughs> It's crazy how it just looks better, doesn't it? It just looks better, even though it's technically worse. It looks better. I mean, the main th the main thing about the tree is preventing attrition, yet here we are with a journeyman. Two journeymen. So, you know, if you've already got two journeymen, why not just have a third journeyman and uh, lean into your good elves? The tree increases tree attrition, yeah. Yeah, he does. The tree definitely increases tree attrition. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't expect much out of this with this Lizardman team, you know, versus this Wood Elf team. With Elliot. At the helm. Hey, well, it might be 3 2. Telling me there's a chance. That's really all you can hope for, right? Is the odd double one like that. The odd double one that gives you a chance. Like just, you've got so little chances as the uh, as the lizards. <laughs> it really is. This is actually could be pretty strong, couldn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you could have like a cage and then like a kind of screen off from the cage as well. The problem is, <laughs> you'd just be losing 3 2 <laughs> instead of, <laughs> like, you know, too late to get a draw out of it. I don't like this either, really, because you'd have to, like, you need to double layer it, right? You need to do it, and you, probably, you need to pick it up with the shoe hands anyway. You need to pick it up with the shoe hands and then, like, double layer it. Straight in. Zero hesitation from 
woof himself. And the edge five is just there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hand off to him. Bob's your uncle. Or maybe the the maybe the the one turner. No, the one turner is an eighty-five. 81, so it's got to be the one with 35, right? Does he break tackle in to hit the ball? It doesn't really matter. So, do, do you hit the one turner or the war dancer? I hit this war dancer first. Fill in the sidestep squares so you could get the. Oh, he's got to grab anyway. So there you go. Three dice from the mighty ball. Lovely dice. Foul him, everything you've got. Don't think he's fouling the dancer. Sad. Oh, you'd seen this in chat now, though you might not be. Would you have re rolled the three dice on the. Uh, on the super skin, if you hadn't powered it. Pure greed reroll on turn eight. Probs are not. Yeah. Man, I'd be tempted. Yeah. I don't know, 72. But I guess you'll get 4 SVP. Anyway. There you go, there's two more. <laughs> there's two more anyway, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, yeah, that's true, yeah, there's, there's no need to rush there. Like four more games after this, you'll get there, so there's no need to rush. Yep. yep. Yeah, that was that was my that exact same idea with mine, right? I had like I was on seventy or seventy one or something, and then just thought it's better to not get them now, and get them when you get them. I would just want to kill the movement nine edge four skink, honestly. Like, even though, even though, even though it doesn't really achieve anything, I'd just want to kill it on principle. <laughs> Oh, grab, grab could uh, could score a one turn. Grab, grab, grab. I wonder what the best way of scoring the one turn here is. Interesting, isn't it? Without sidestep and with grab and other blocks. There's probably one person in the world who knows what the best way to score this one turn is. I think we all know his name. You probably can, yeah. You probably can. Oh well, I mean, I don't say. Good probably. evening, little wrestlers. Yeah. What I'm can I do I'm for sure, you? I'm sure you can do grab with redundancy, but exactly how you would set it up is interesting, isn't it? Like, there'll be an absolutely best way to set it up, won't there? And whatever. That was pretty, was pretty unlucky that the, the rock... The rock stopped him. The rock stopped his follow-up uh, block. Like, it's, it's kind of mad that, like, you would think 
With all of, like, the obsessive people in Blood Bowl, you know, with nothing better to do with their lives, <laughs> that there'd be somebody whose thing was working out one turns, right? Rather than it just being something that Kfog does on the side a little bit. Something that he just cares a little bit more than he should about. <laughs> you know, you'd think there'd be someone who was actual, like, you know, just obsessed by one turns and knew everything about them. Like, you know, with how many people are on the world and that? The kind of people that Blood Bowl attracts. <laughs> you would think one person would have taken it to like the nth degree and like be completely obsessive and mad. Like, maybe there is and they're just not very good at it, so they, <laughs> they don't really succeed at it. But you'd think there'd be someone like that. Whereas KFOG is pretty much like the only good player that really, really does seem to care about one turns a lot more. Like, you know, I think I'm better than most at one turns, but like, you know, KFOG is definitely better than most at or all, probably. Um, right, anyway, there you go. Easy win for Elyod. Glorious. Glorious domination for Elyod. And uh, marches ever closer to the title. Commiserations to Drac, but again, his team was just completely outgunned by this, wasn't it? Uh, even if it wasn't. Even if it wasn't Elyod playing it, it's just like, what do you do? What do you do with Lizards versus Wood Elves? They just come in and keep taking your balls. Um, but yeah, congrats, Williard. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.